Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Dimmick Cadillac, sunny Clearwater, Florida, because guess what? We have the lightly refreshed 2020 Cadillac XT5. But before we just dive in, let's talk a little bit about the history of the XT5. XT5 has not been around for very, very long. Its first year was 2015. It really helps fill in some of the SUV gaps. And I think Cadillac is really doing a great job at trying to get an SUV or crossover SUV to fit every kind of personality, every kind of budget, every kind of lifestyle. With the X-T5, obviously this is gonna be a little bit larger than the X-T4, that's that gateway into the Cadillac SUV community, but still not as big as the X-T6, which remember, X-T6, all new, filled in the gap between this vehicle and the supersized Big Mac known as the Cadillac Escalade. The X-T5 though, meant to go up against the BMW X5, the Audi Q5, and that GLC class from Mercedes-Benz. One thing is for certain, Cadillac is trying to do some fine tuning before they do a major redesign to make this be the top dog of luxury compact SUV. So let's dive into this X-T5 and just see what's different and see what still makes this a standout. Right off the bat, you know it's a Cadillac because they have such unique styling that is unmistakable. Really like the nice waterfall uh, headlight design that they have. You're gonna have your LED headlight, LED daytime running lamp, and turn singles. As we work our way down, the way that they take the daytime running lamp and actually drop it down a little bit really helps with making a nice style. Tom's gonna kinda go ahead and zoom in and show a little bit more on that particular style of that waterfall design and it really gives a nice, unique identity. Now, my one zonk is gonna be down here. There's a large gloss black area, and it's non-functional. I wish that they would make this an actual air curtain. The gloss black is classy, especially with a little bit of chrome, but I think my favorite part, like I said, is just that design, such a unique style to the headlight housing with that LED uh, daytime running lamp system that just makes it stand out, even whether it's day or night. Now, new for 2020, you have a new updated grill design. I really like the way they have these little chrome uh, slots, these little horizontal slots all over the place. Really makes it sparkle nice. You have, of course, that iconic Cadillac logo, forward-facing camera, and I think one of my favorite things that they do is that nice brushed aluminum around the perimeter of the grill. Now, as we work our way down, this is all new, horizontal gloss black slots. Works well with the gloss black on each corner, and then a nice little flat silver lower lip spoiler just to give it a little bit of extra style and give it that suv look now when we go up onto the hood very nice straight lines very strong lines you have a prominent raised section here and then you're going to have two lighter ones that actually get stronger as you work your way towards the fender uh, excuse me towards the windshield and then of course you're going to have that one on each quarter that works into the fender into the a pillar now when we come around the bend what are we working with? Wheel and tire. Now, the first thing I'm very happy to say is that they brought the flat black here and they stopped. I'm glad that they went color matched all the way around the fender treatment. Very, very nice style, that nice metallic gray, all new wheel design. So we have new wheel options. This one is a 20 inch wheel, machined aluminum, that metallic silver in there. Really classy the way they kind of just silver out the Cadillac logo. But the way it sits, it, it it has a nice amount of space between the top of the tire, inside the fender. It's a 235 on the width, and then this sidewall is a 55 series sidewall, which is gonna give you a nice Cadillac smooth, comfortable ride. As we go down the fender, you can see how you have two body lines that are gonna pick up at the belt line and then kind of work their way back. You have that silvered out Cadillac logo, color match mirror caps with LED turn singles. I like the brushed aluminum strip along the bottom I think without that, it would look a little bland because you have the flat black down here, but the silver just adds enough. You have silver on the door handles with some lighting in there, and then very, very low brushed aluminum roof rails. Of course, you could get your crossbars and, and all that good stuff. We keep working our way back. Smaller on the quarter window. Now, a lot of other competitors have a little bit larger quarter window, but I, I think that that gives it a little bit more sport style to it. Very strong line coming off the roof. As we come to the back, look at how the fender almost is flared out from that body line. And then when we get to the back, of course, just like the front, 
you're going to have that unique taillight design, full LED. Cadillac does it so well and very, very unique. You got your XT5 badge, that brushed aluminum trim. This is the one major zonk at the back, which I wish that they would just get rid of. This badging, it's Newton meters of torque. It doesn't make sense, and I think it just confuses everybody. So without that, they could save money on those emblems and just leave it off. But that's a one, two, three, four zonk right at the back. Rear bumper area has been restyled for 2020. The good news is you do have functional exhaust. This is a trim ring, but I do like the way it's integrated very, very clean into that lower portion of the rear bumper, especially with the redesign. Look at where they mount your LED reverse light, nice and high. It's gonna help light up the ground when you're backing up, and but very clean with that flat silver. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this X-T5. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a hydraulic hood strut. Underneath the hood, you do have two engine options. So that's the nice thing about the X-T5. This being the luxury trim, what you have is that two liter inline four turbocharged engine, 237 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. It's all made it through a nine speed automatic transmission. This one is front wheel drive, but you can get optional all wheel drive. Weight, you're looking around 4,257 pounds. MPGs, 21 in the city, 28 on the highway. Looking underneath the hood, they tried. They tried to make the engine cover look a little classy, look a little tasteful, and for the most part, it's not too bad. I think the thing that I like the most is giving people the option, whether you want the four banger with the turbo or you want to go V6. But while we go ahead, let's close this hood, get inside, see what's different, but also see that Cadillac luxury style on the interior. All right, guys, we're on the inside of the 2020 XT5. Now, I know you're probably wondering, well, Joe, I am liking this compact size luxury SUV. How much is this particular one? This one, MSRP's right at $54,600. Let's see what you get for the money. Now, to the door panels, it is very, very classy. I do like the mixture of materials. You have this gray color with nice stitching. You have the lighter beige and then beautiful silver. And I'm telling you, that looks like it's almost brushed aluminum, true metal. Door handle, very, very unique. I like the style. I like the contrast stitching at the top of the door panel. Nice to see a very cohesive look to break up what could be a very, very boring door panel. You do have a Bose optional sound system and a very, very large pocket in the side where you could easily put a box of Wheaties in there. Save that for your trip. Uh, you know, it is the breakfast of champions. Now, dash, pretty far forward. You can see how they carry the stitching. I like this trim here. I wish they would use this more in their vehicles because it doesn't show fingerprints. It has a nice metal feel to it, the brushed aluminum, and then it all kind of flows nicely into the infotainment system. Now, I like the way, I think it's smart how they integrated two AC vents and kind of just kept it a little bit higher for the driver portion and left it a little lower on the passenger side. You have your start stop button. This is that eight inch Q system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, obviously touch screen. You could get into your AC controls this way or I'll show you another way very, very soon. But we go back to home. It's got the nice swipe features. You like cameras? I like cameras. Here we are looking out the front and it shows trajectory, which is really nice. Of course, we could keep going. Look, that's us. And we got a nice 360 view of because Tom has the door open, that's why it's all blacked out. We're, we're hiding Tom's identity right now. He's got somebody looking for him, and we're really concerned for his safety. But um, there we are back. And I, and I think the trajectory is great. Uh, really clean as well. The, the camera quality is really on the money. Sometimes we get into uh, some of these vehicles, and it almost looks like a dot matrix printer printed up the image. Now, like I was promising you, if you don't like touching screens for your AC, you do have these controls, simple to use simple to figure out. You do have heated seats, but no ventilated seats. So I am going to zonk that at $54,000. My butt should be cooled with some ventilated seats. Now, this pocket is interesting because you could fill it up with some snacks, maybe have a couple Snickers in there and stuff, but it would be nice if, if there was wireless charging or some type of connectivity here. But wait, you will be given those things that you want. I like the way soft, soft material. This really shows the level of, of materials in here. You have a nice side pocket, actually not a side pocket, but you have the dual plane set up here. And down below, 
you do have a 12 volt, which is nice. And, and if you're not gonna use this for a purse or a purse, a bag, a sack, or to charge anything, obviously that's a perfect place for a box of Twinkies. I like the way that they did the stitch work, nice soft material, even on the cup holder lid. We open that up, what's inside? You have two cup holders and our key fob. So there's your Cadillac key fob. It's thin, it's classy, it's got a nice weight to it. You have remote start, you could pop the cargo hatch uh, remotely with this, and it's got the nice Cadillac logo. This is gonna control that nine speed automatic transmission. You do also have the ability, if you don't wanna touch the screen, you could use this direct controller knob to go through the different screen functions. Also, look at that. This is one of my favorite things on these, on these General Motors products, especially Cadillac. So this is a camera out the back. It's not the backup camera. This is a totally separate camera to give you an electric rear view mirror. You wanna see rear view mirror now? Watch, boom, there's Tom. Tom's gone, we need to protect his identity. So very nice to have that technology in this XD5, very soft material. This is super soft stitching. Now here's the good news is you do have your wireless charging here. And the thing that I like about that, and I'll show you if I can find my phone, is when you go to charge your phone, it's gonna hold into place very nicely. So that's really nice if you ever have to get on the brakes, because sometimes depending on where they have these uh, wireless charging pads, the phone's gonna go flying. You're gonna kill somebody, kill yourself. But here, it's very, very secure. I'm gonna put that back in my pocket before I forget in here and give somebody a free phone. Open this up. Oh, we have some felt lining. So nice felt line. You could pour your M&Ms in there, not scratch the M&Ms. You got a USB-C, a USB, and more felt lining. You could probably stack, I would probably say about eight Twinkies in there. That seems feasible. Close it back up. Seats, nice cream color, soft as a baby's butt. I like the Cadillac crest in there. Perforated center. Of course, fully electric for both the passenger and the driver. I'm just missing the ventilated seats. And this one has the optional panoramic sunroof, which is great. And that goes nice far back for those passengers so they could get their vitamin D as well. Why don't you come out on the business end though? I want to show you behind the wheel of this Cadillac XT5. All right, guys, business time. You do have two memory settings. If you're gonna let somebody borrow your X-T5, you do have two memory settings that you could store for the seat. Seat controls are easy to get to. They got a little bit of chrome there, let you know you're in a Cadillac. You got the Cadillac sill plate down there. Steering wheel, same story. The leather is great, nice and soft. They went with the, the gray on the steering wheel. There's that metal trim I was telling you about. I really like that. Buttons are easy to get to. They're flat black. Is it the sexiest of st steering wheels? No, but I've seen worse. The dash though is where I'm a little let down. You know, you're gonna probably be expecting like a 12 inch digital display. You have an analog tack, analog speedometer. You do have that nice digital display in the center though, where you could toggle through a cornucopia of information, but it would be nice to have a 12 inch like virtual cockpit like some other brands do, Audi for example, um, in this X-T5 do have heads up display, which is great. And it's a good size. It's got the tachometer and speedometer built into it. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the back seat and see how your passenger is gonna be loving luxury in your Cadillac X-T5. All right guys, back seat time in this X-T5. It is very comfy here. What they put into the cushions is over decades and decades of Cadillac comfy ride. And you feel it in the back seat. I got plenty of knee room, plenty of head room. You have the nice leather all the way around. You have pockets for both passengers back here. You could put Frisbees in there. You could put a back scratcher. You could even put some moon pies back there. Just don't squish them because then you're gonna squirt it all over the place. Interesting, you have two rear AC vents, a USB and a USB-C, but then these two pockets. So I guess you could line up your Jolly Ranchers and put this, uh, since this one's a little deeper, fill this one up with atomic fireballs, but it would be nice to actually have controls for the rear AC back here, especially at this price point, $54,000. But the seats, the good news is, yes, I just did that. Uh, the seats do slide and they also do recline, which is a nice touch. And the finishes in here are classy. It's just some of these other areas. Let's see what the armrest looks like. We pulled down the armrest. I'm not gonna wanna put my arm there. That, that thing is as hard as Plymouth Rock. When the Mayflower landed, the Pilgrims got off, this is what they landed on was this, this is like Pilgrim, this is a, a Plymouth Rock. It just does not make sense to me why that's so hard in a Cadillac. But we put that back. 
Other than that, let's go check out the cargo area and see how much room you have in the X-T5. All right, guys, time to check out the cargo area. We push the button, nice electric assist, little on the slow side. The, fl the floor, though, it's a little high. I'm gonna have Tom kind of back out just to show you the cargo floor. If you're lifting something from ground zero into the back of the X-T5, it is a little high. The good news is, is that it's nice and flat. Let me pull this up here. Gotta use a little muscles, but you do have some nice storage capability there. And what's really nice is that you have that lockable track system, which I think would make it very versatile for a lot of different purposes. Now, once you fold these seats down, you are looking at over 63 cubic feet of space. To put the seats down, it's very simple. You just pull on the lever and then they go down. So I'm gonna come around to this side, pull on the lever, they go down. You have LED lighting and you have a 12 volt. So if you're going camping, if you're going to the beach, if you're going tailgating, you have the ability to power something out of that 12 volt. But let's get to the best part. They say Calax ride different than any other vehicle. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this X-T5 for a spin. All right, guys, we're leaving Dimmick Cadillac. We're in the 2020 X-T5. Pulling away immediately, you do feel the quality of the seats. The seats are so comfortable, so supportive. And I haven't driven an X-T5 in a long distance, but I have driven the smaller sibling, the X-T4. And I'm telling you right now, your body does not ache one bit being in a long drive situation one of these. Let's go ahead and test out the power of the four banger uh, with the turbocharger. So on throttle, nine speed drops down. Surprisingly, you got a, enough power. And now, if you want more, the good news is you could get more. So you could get the V6, the naturally aspirated V6 um, in this X-T5, but you know, to, to get you in an X-T5, you don't need the V6 though. And I feel like with the amount of power that the four-cylinder turbo produces, it, it's, it's a good amount. Uh, transmission shifts smoothly, the nine-speed automatic transmission. Visibility is wonderful. They really did a great job with getting the eight pillars out of the way. I like everywhere I'm touching, it feels comfy. You know, there's so many other vehicles we go in where the armrests are hard, uh, you know, certain um, other pieces of the interior are just, they feel cheap. In here, I mean, the material is soft. And yeah, I think we're, it, there's a little bit of a letdown is in the infotainment system. But the good news about the infotainment system, it's not iPad style, which I know a lot of people don't like. And I really feel like they integrated it nicely into the dash. The graphics are super clear. You don't have to pay extra for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto like you do for some other luxury car brands. You get it in this Cadillac. Gauges. Simple to read, easy to understand. Are they 21st century fancy? No, but they do get the job done. I would like to see a full digital display. And like I said, I think these things are coming um, with the redesign. This, remember, is just a light refresh for 2020, but very quiet in the cabin. I'll definitely give them that. Very quiet in the cabin and very smooth. I'll get back on the highway here. I'm gonna get on throttle. Very, very smooth. So here we are back on the highway. Not a lot of road noise, which is nice. Visibility out the back glass is wonderful. I love the digital mirror. I mean, to be able to have a nice camera out the back, it really gives you a good panoramic view. Really uh, think that that is super smart technology that we'll see in more and more vehicles uh, down the road. But pleasantly surprised how I feel driving this. It just, is it perfect? No. I kind of know where I would be taking my money. Please put in the comments which luxury SUV, compact SUV, would you go and buy if it wasn't this Cadillac XT5? I'm very curious what you guys would go and spend your money on. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and make a U-turn here. Brakes feel good. I, I like how high the brake pedal is in a Cadillac. They have it at a good height to where when you get on it, it's right there and then it gives you good feedback. The steering is nice and light, um, which is wonderful as well. And remember, you do have different drive modes in here. So I've been in tour. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in sport. You also have snow and ice, but right now in Florida, uh, or pretty much at any time in Florida, do we have to worry about snow or ice? But let's see how the acceleration is affected in sport mode on throttle. 
So you are gonna get a little different feeling of acceleration in sport mode. The transmission, you can hear it hold on to that gear um, so that if you need to get back on throttle, it's already right there. It's, the transmission is not having to drop down. So that's a nice feature to have to be able to change the parameters of how the engine, throttle, transmission, how they all behave together. But getting back on the highway, super smooth. And it's interesting because having a tachometer and a speedometer in the heads-up display, there's been some performance cars we've been in that doesn't even have that. But you have a nice weight to the steering wheel. The buttons are easy to get to. It's just, is it the sexiest? No. But I think for, uh, for people that want to have that American luxury car brand, Cadillac is here and they have something pretty much for everybody now with the introduction of the XT6. But hopefully this gave you a nice overview of the XT5, how it drives. Everything's easy to get to in here, which is nice. And you do have all the great technology that you want, wireless charging, of course, all the safety features um, and whatnot, which makes it even more pleasant to operate. But we're gonna go ahead, get back to Dimmick Cadillac and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, been another wonderful day here at Dimmick Cadillac. Definitely gotta thank Steve and Steve and the rest of the crew getting us access to this 2020 Cadillac XT5. Is it the best compact luxury SUV out there? I think that there's some stiff competition, but it's nice to see that Cadillac has made some changes. I'm kind of looking forward to what the total redesign is gonna be like. But if it's SUVs like this that you wanna keep seeing on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to Big Guns McGee. He wants to wrap himself in a Cadillac blanket because he likes the softness of the seat. So we'll get you that, Tom. Thank you for your hard work. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.